I need to look crazy. She said she's looking crazy. I feel empowered right now, y'all. I want to be a real YouTuber, mama. Hey everyone, so today I'm going to hop on the bandwagon, which is something I don't normally do. And the reason I don't normally do it is because I'm always late to the game. Last week I was a complete zombie, but there was a really fun trend happening on YouTube, which is probably so over now, but grandma wanted to join in and I'm going to be following one of Jamie Genevieve's makeup tutorials. I love her. It was actually really hard for me to choose because there are so many channels that I love, but like, she's like, <sighs> On another level, like every time she posts a picture, Instagram, Twitter, wherever, I'm just like, Leanne, what are you doing? Like, step your game up. Are we even the same species? This girl is gorgeous and her makeup skills are very impressive. I have been subscribed to her channel for a long time and she definitely tends to do more dramatic, vampy, more full on makeup than I do, but I figure, it's about time for me to learn how to do makeup. I've been on YouTube for like five decades. So like, hey, let's just go ahead and do it. I really hope at the end of this, I look like Jamie Genevieve. She is so gorgeous. If you don't watch her channel, watch her channel. I will link this video down below if you wanna watch it in its entirety. I sort of watched this video before, but I was doing my own makeup. And so you know how it is. Like I wasn't doing this makeup tutorial. So I was like kind of like listening and like looking periodically. So this is kind of like the first time I'm watching it as I'm doing it. But I did look at the description and I have some of like the key elements of the look. So I feel like I have a dog in this race. Is that applicable here? I'm not really sure, but I need to stop procrastinating. Let's do this. Come on, Jamie. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Here to create this entire look. It is super dramatic, a kind of nice cool toned blue spark. Her accent, I love it so much. And her vlogs, okay, we're not gonna. I hope you really liked it. I have my hair tied back, I mean business. Okay, she said she means business and her hair is wrapped. I'm gonna try to mean business too. My bangs don't mean business. Come on guys, this is work with my girls. This is not supposed to be a hair thing. How did this become a hair thing? All right, maybe I just have to mean business in my own way, which means getting my bangs out of the way. This is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Matte Primer. Okay, she has the Fenty Beauty Primer. I do not. So I'm just gonna use my regular everyday hourglass mineral veil primer. That's what works for me. I think she said the Fenty primer is mattifying. So I'm also gonna go in with my trusty trusty NYX setting spray. Cause I need it. Next I'm gonna go in with my foundation. This is the Iconic London Foundation Stick. This is the shade 2.2. I don't have that foundation either. And I actually don't even have a stick foundation that I really like. So we're just gonna use the <laughs> YSL All Hours Foundation. I don't have any self tanner on right now. And so I think this one will work for me. I think this is okay that we're not doing this step like with identical products. I mean, everybody don't have the same things. She has like amazing stuff. I was like going through her tutorials and like looking at the descriptions to try to figure out like, okay, which products do I actually have that you're using here? Oh my gosh, it made me want to shop so hard, but I resisted the urge because I just recently put a like really big order in at Sephora and I need to really stop doing those kinds of things. Okay, I'm gonna listen to her. So I'm gonna apply this straight to my face and then I'm gonna mix it with my other color that I used to use. And I like my full coverage. I like full coverage too. Oh my gosh, same, same. <laughs> Literally the only thing this similar. Is From here, I'm gonna go in with my concealer and I am trying out the All Nighter Concealer by Urban Decay. I actually used I have this. it ago before it launched and I really liked it. I actually have tried this out before and I made a whole video about this. I did like a little concealer face off. This one versus Tarte Shape Tape. Although I must admit, I'm so used to the huge big applicator from Tarte that I find this little small one really weird. But oh, again, gee, don't same. Ooh, she put her concealer down here. Ooh, how interesting. Actually learning something from a makeup tutorial? What? I'm just gonna blend that in with a kind of synthetic domed brush. Oops. My eyebrows are so bad, this jet lag is really, really messing with me this time. I got my eyebrows tinted today and they are super dark. I kind of love it. Ooh, she's adding it onto her lids also. Okay, okay. I need to be careful not to get it into my lashes because that is a mess. When the lash extensions start to turn foundation color, ooh, we got trouble. We got trouble right here in River City. That was a Music Man reference in case 
he didn't get that. Oh, yeah. Right here in River City. Right here in River City. I'm going to contour with the iconic foundation stick as well. <gasps> this is probably oh, no. Time. Okay. Again, she's contouring with a stick foundation. I don't have. But I do have something else. I have the Benefit Hula Quickie Contour Stick. Okay, let's see how she does it. Ooh, she knows how to do this. <gasps> Even on the nose. <gasps> oh my gosh, she's using like a brush that I would think you'd use like on suede shoes. Ooh, <gasps> did y'all see that? Oh my gosh, it just hopped out. Look at that, that looks... Hmm. This is not going well. Okay, this color is a lot warmer than the one she's using. <laughs> I never do this. I certainly never do this. This terrifies me. This is a good exercise in getting me out of my comfort zone. Thank you, YouTube trends. I always do this. I always go to the oh, Me too. Okay, this color is definitely not as deep as the one that she's using. I don't know if maybe I need to get something else, but I might just go with this. Mm. actually did blend out pretty well. Okay, there's no way she wants me to blend out my nose with a big brush. This is not even like half the size as the brush she's using. Ooh, hers comes like way down. She did use the big brush on her nose. Oh my gosh, girl, Jamie, you're wild. Oh my gosh. It kind of worked. I don't know. I need to add more because her contour is so much darker. And that's one of the things I actually like really like about her. Maybe I need to like go and search in my makeup stash to see if I have a darker contour stick. But this might be working, right? Maybe make it work. The creases are setting in big time. How does she go this long without powdering? I'm gonna do because I've used so many cream products, I need to kind of set my face a little bit. I'm gonna go in with Good the idea. blotting powder in the shade light and I'm gonna underneath my eyes. I don't have that, so I'm just gonna use my tried and true Laura Mercier translucent powder because that's what works for me. But I also have to go in with my beauty blender under my eyes and try to like get rid of these creases. Oh my goodness, Jamie, what have you done to me? It's okay, we gonna fix it. Ooh, I'm not even watching. I'm just doing my own thing. I've gone rogue, y'all. I'm gonna take Patrick Star's powder by MAC. This powder is amazing for bacon. I don't do it that much, but I love getting my little- I hate baking! From Elsie Cosmetics, going in with the pointy side, and then- <gasps> She's doing it. I don't want to, Jamie! And this is probably the heaviest glam I've done this year so far. This is the heaviest glam I've ever done in my life. And another thing I've been doing is just setting the sides of my nose. All right, we're doing it. We're doing it. At least she's not doing it under her eyes because that I cannot handle. I don't have the Patrick Star powder, but I would love to get it. I really just can't handle doing it under my eyes. That makes me look like the Crip Keeper, right? She did the sides of her nose and then down the middle. Y'all don't understand. I really do. I want to like have a side by side and you can't tell the difference. I do, okay? I'm just gonna dust that away. Oh, I don't leave it that was fast. Oh no. Slow down. I have this darker-ish kind of. I don't know. Is this dark? That's kind of dark. I'm gonna use this. This is from like Smashbox. Like Smashbox. I don't know. Alright, I feel like I'm literally getting rid of the jet lag blend by blend. I'm looking sufficiently crazy. Okay, I need to look crazy. She said she's looking crazy. So she said she's doing it here in her cheekbones. She's not going, like, going over her ears, but I guess her ears aren't really showing, are they? I don't know. You can tell how good I am at watching makeup tutorials. <laughs> right, it looks like she also went under here. Thank goodness, I need it. Tighten your eyes. Let me zoom you in. <laughs> I like when she does the wee thing every single time. A palette from Morphe. I've used it a bunch before, but I thought I would bring it back. I don't have that palette, but I looked for a neutrals palette that I've been wanting to use. This is the NARS wanted eyeshadow palette and it looks like it has like kind of like some of the same stuff it's got some more like eyeshadow. i think i can make this work so the first color i'm going to go with is a warm brown but don't judge me yet we're just going to go in with that color oh wait okay i have to cheat <laughs> yes i have to cheat i'm cheating i'm cheating i'm cheating i'm gonna go over my lid with a light shadow because i have to like i powdered it down a bit but like i have to do this i have to i have to do <laughs> 
build up the crease. And the brush that I'm using is the Smith 232 brush. I don't have any of the Smith brushes. Do you have the, I feel like I've heard really great, amazing YouTubers that I like talk about Smith brushes, but I've never tried them, but I would like to. Okay, I'm gonna use this brown, it seems similar, I don't know. And then just going into the crease. Ugh. I think this color is darker than the one she's using, but it looks like she goes like way out here when she's blending it. She's just like casually like, eh, 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 eh. whoa, 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 hairline, not hairline, but like hairline for me, like in my comfort level. Okay, I thought that I had the right palette. I need to find a cool tone brown. Hold on. Okay, I found this mocha shade from Makeup Geek in a really old Z palette, and it's a cool tone brown. I don't usually go for a cool tone. Oh my gosh, it's all over my hands. Just picking up little bits of pigment at a time and blending back and forth. Okay, I can do that. Mm, I don't know if mine is looking so gloriously blended. Can't say I didn't see this coming. I'm sure you saw it coming too. Okay, all right, okay. Okay, what are you doing? to just a little bit of a smaller brushes at the 247. I'm going to go in with the same color. I do really need to wash my brushes before anyone says, but that jet lag is just... <sighs> yeah, I don't want to do it. I'm going to buff that underneath my eye. And That's okay, Jamie. Know I never wash my brushes either. I love a really smoky under eye, but also when you mix your eyeshadow in with your concealer underneath your eye, it really stops it from creasing. It's like a powder in your eye again. It just makes mm. it look seamless all day. Oh. So your eyes look hella big. Hella big, give it to me. Okay, so she's going in with the darker one. Okay, all right. And she's going under her eye because it makes your eyes look hella big. Let's see. I think this is like the trick to the Jamie look. That's what I feel. And I'm always like a little too shy about it. Like, and I need to just go to town and really like do a major under eye. Oh wow, so yeah, she goes all the way in. I've never done that before. We didn't zoom in when she zoomed in. Wee! It's not the same. Can you see what I'm doing? It's a mess. I know. I'm also sweating a little bit. It's my own special twist on the look. I'm gonna bring that up just to kind of meet in with the crease. When we get to this stage, I'm gonna go in with this color here. It's the second darkest color in the palette. It's really pigmented, but it can give a little bit of fallout. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my little flat brush. This is 253 from Smith. Pop it in the shadow and I'm just going to press that, like, look at that. <gasps> <laughs> okay, I'm really nervous about this step, but I think this really dark brown will work. I don't think this is such a good idea, Jamie. She's like the friend that's like leading you down. Be like, we can stay out all night. Don't worry, your parents won't catch us. And I'm like, no, let's not do it. Mom's gonna catch me. She always knows. She just knows. I'm doing it. I think we're gonna get in trouble, Jamie, but I'm gonna do it anyway. This is all your fault. Wow, this is like almost black. Ready, the fallout will just dust off but what you can do is you can kind of lean your face forward a little bit i don't know if you guys can see me do this right now and then just build that up go right up to the crease right up to the other corner oh this is not my look <laughs> I avoid like super dark eyes like this because I just don't think it looks that good on me. Am I crazy? Like, I don't think I'm crazy. I think I look like a crazy panda. I mean, I know the look's not done. All right, where are we going from here, Jamie? Like, show me how to get out of this. It's not looking good over here. And then the transition color, and I'm just gonna blend those together and start to smoke out the eye oh. a little bit more. Okay, we're blending, we're smoking out more somehow. Okay, all right, okay, we're blending, blending. Okay, that actually doesn't look so bad. All right, I trust you again, Jamie, except for over here, that's on me. User error. Oh my gosh, like my lack of eyebrows right now is really magnified. So for the next part, we're gonna jazz this up a little bit. Ooh, we're gonna jazz it up a little bit. You speak in my language, girl. Here I have one of the Tarte Chrome paints, and this is called Steal the Show. Got my Coconut Fix Plus, my fave. So once I've done that, I'm just going to put this all over my lid and it's just a really beautiful midnight blue-gray. This is where it gets serious. I have Fix Plus, but yet again, don't know where it is. So we're wet in the brush. All right, I thought this was black. I hadn't used it before, but it's kind of like a gunmetal and she says it's blue. Mine's broken. I haven't even used it and it's broken. Welcome to my life. Oh girl, I see what you're saying. It's gunmetal, but like a blue steel. You know what I mean? This is really coming together. <laughs> Five seconds ago, I was like, help me, I'm lost in the dark. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with the new heavy metal glitter from Urban Decay. This is the shade Gamma Ray, which is a 
are really beautiful blue and then you can kind of wait for that to start to dry before you blend it out or anything blend oh my gosh okay she like layered this i did not expect this okay all right i trust you i trust you but you have to like hold your eye like this because it's all wet back to the chrome paint hmm for some reason, my chrome paint just does not really want to layer over the glitter. But I like it. I think this looks good. Okay, so she's going on and doing the other eye at warp speed. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the same since we are basically sisters at this point. We look like twins. Whatever. Okay, I'm kind of starting to love this look. I don't know why I ever doubted you, Jamie. Thank you so much. This, like, starry night midnight panda like i'm into it i need eyebrows but i'm loving it oh she's putting more I'm gonna go wait this side first oh and just start to darken up that crease right into the inner corner because our dark blue is in there anyway darkening the crease i definitely think you could do this look eyes first this is quite a heavy eye to do with your now she tells me okay she says she's darkening the crease how dark can we go, Jamie? She didn't really say what color she was using. But y'all, I feel like this is like a real look. Like, okay, I did not execute it as well as she did. We're not even done and I'm ready to like give you my final thoughts, but like already ready to congratulate myself. I feel like this is a real look. Like I should do this more often. I feel empowered right now, y'all. This is such a good feeling. I'm out of my box, my little beige box. Ooh, it looks like she brought her color more in here, which is something I never do. Because like I said, I'm just so, so scared. So personally, I don't think I need more glitter because I might have just added too much at the beginning. But I'm going to add a little bit more just because she said to. She's the boss. Now that the glitter is dry, I'm going to go in with the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Liner. This thing's really good. It's just super, super black. I'm going to add on just wee baby flicks. Wait. What she said are like wee baby flicks are like major wings in my life. Hold on, hold on. I just gotta try it. I don't have the Marc Jacobs eyeliner, but I do have the NYX one. So that's what I'm gonna try to use. I really do like this one. It has a really fine brush tip. So let's see if we can do some wee baby flicks. I think that's as far as I could go. My lids are like not hooded, but like maybe partially just on the end. And so when I do winged liner, like nine times out of 10, it goes wrong if I try to get too wild with it. But like that kind of works. It kind of looks like a Nike check. You see it. I know you see it. All right, now we got to start on the Walmart eye. Oh, it's way too short. Woo! They're totally different shapes. Okay. All right. Oh my God, this is not going well. I just need to stop blowing my head. Stop, Leanne. Stop, Leanne. Oh, no. This is not good. I just have to stop because it's getting like weird and flat on the end. Hers are so like sharp and... Ugh. Oh wait, she did her mascara and lashes off camera. I have lashes, but they're kind of like real busted right now. So I kind of feel like I could get away with putting some lashes on top of my lashes. Plus maybe lashes will hide this liner situation. Mm -hmm. Maybe, maybe. Oh wow, I actually hadn't used this mascara before. It's the new Benefit Bad Gal Bang. This is the mini size. This works really well. I'm liking this. It's on lash extensions, but still. Actually, should I put lashes on? I'm feeling guilty. Should I? Okay, I'm gonna pull it, Jamie. I'm gonna decide and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and I don't know if you can even tell, but I decided to abuse my lashes a little bit and put on half lashes. So it's like a little bit of a compromise. I like it. I really need to not do this. I'm really hoping the next step is brows because like, look at my face. I need them so badly. I'm gonna use my brow shaping mascara from Ingo. This is in the shade, not sure. Okay, she's using a brow mascara. Through my eyebrows, because I just had them tinted, they're super dark, so I don't really need to do anything to them. She just got hers tinted. I did not though. I'm gonna cheat again, guys. I need, I need some pencil. I will use the brow gel idea. I'm not using the same one as her. But like, look at my face, I have to. I'm gonna add some of my NYX brow pencil. This is the last of the last of the last of the nub of this pencil and I'm running on fumes. I like don't know if I'll even be able to finish this brow. You know who else I really wanted to do for this? Trisha Paytas. 
I feel like you have to have like a special kind of mindset to really like appreciate her, but like I appreciate her. But I decided it's time for me to learn something and I should do one of my favorite like legit makeup artists. I was also thinking it would be fun to combine this idea with like the boyfriend or husband does my makeup and get Grant to do my makeup, but follow someone's makeup tutorial. Do you like that idea? I like that idea. Who should we do? Let me know in the comments right now. Okay, now I'm going in with the Talk of the Brown Archery Brow Gel from Soap and Glory. This is the darker color that I have, and so hopefully I will get dramatically dark brows like Jamie has. I'm just gonna highlight my inner corner and my bow bone with my Oh Darling highlighter from MAC. I don't have that highlighter, but I have this Fenty Beauty one that I really, really love. And so I'm just gonna use this. And she's highlighting the inner corners, which I definitely didn't realize was missing, but it really needed to be done. Really, I think what I need to learn from this tutorial is to not be afraid and to put like a ton of product on. And I almost never do a shimmery brow bone highlight, but that makes a difference. Hello, I am officially broken out of my shell. Not really. I like it though. And I just keep adding. Okay, I'm gonna stop. Hot and Naughty Lash by MAC is the best. And then the lashes I've got on today. Okay, now she's adding more mascara to the bottom lashes. I never do more than one coat of mascara on the bottom. And it looks like she already has mascara down there. I don't know, this feels wrong. I like barely did it. <laughs> but I kind of did it. I'm trying to follow instructions. Oh, what do you think? Zoom you out and finish this face. Oh wait, I get to do this. Okay. <laughs> and I'm gonna add the highlights back into my skin using the iconic One Den Illuminator Drops. You literally need one or two drops. And I'm just gonna start patting that on my cheeks. Okay, I don't have that liquid highlight and I actually don't have a lot of liquid highlights, but I do have this new L'Oreal Lumi Glow Armor. Armor? Armor? Sorry. And I got it in the color Daybreak, which is the lightest color. I don't know if this will have the same effect and I actually haven't used this. I've used it with no makeup, but I haven't used it by itself. Ooh, this looks like it's definitely more pink than the one that she did. I'm really scared to mess it up. This is a lot, right? Woo, 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 woo! That's a lot. Ooh, I definitely should not have gone so light with it. Now I have to like over apply on this side too, just to even it out. Gotta make your mistakes even. Now this really makes me feel like a real YouTuber to put it on my lip, cause I like never do that. Okay, and she did the end of her nose. Okay, so I'm just gonna use a little bit of this Fenty highlight. I wanna be a real YouTuber, mama. For lips, I'm gonna keep it pretty, pretty natural cause this look is looking strong. So I'm gonna use my Urban Decay lip liner in the shade Stark Naked. And we're just gonna line our lips. Okay, I'm not sure if this is exactly the right kind of nudie color. It's more a rosy nude. And this is Tartist, Tartiste Latergram. Okay, yeah, I definitely went too pink with this. And then I'm gonna stick on the Dose of Colors Undressed Lip Gloss, really nice light nude. Okay, again, don't have that lip gloss, but I have this lip gloss by Lancome and it is in 202, but hopefully this will line up the situation. Oh my gosh, just seeing myself in the mirror, I look crazy. Okay, this is so crazy, it just might work. I mean, I am just not a nude lip expert, so I tried. So let's see, what are you gonna do next, girl? Do we get some blush in this tutorial? I hope so, I need it. This face needs blush. I'm a little freckling with my, I don't even know where this is from. Max Factor Masterpiece. Honestly, I wouldn't recommend this. It's just the thing I use right now. I'm gonna do her freckle. Okay, I feel very nervous about doing this, but I actually used to do a little freckle of my own. I have a freckle right here on my face. It's usually mostly covered up by foundation, but I used to use like a little bit of like a brow color and just like dot that on. I don't do it anymore. I guess I just got lazy. Hopefully I'm not doing it on the wrong side. Oh, I'm nervous about this. This is black. I should not do it in black. I'm gonna use a brown pencil. This might be horrible. This is like a glitter pencil. Oh my gosh. Ah! I'm backing out. I'm backing out. Why don't I have brown? Okay, I'm just gonna use black. Ah! Oh! It just looks like a mistake. It looks like I got like a fleck of mascara all the way down there. Oh gosh. All right, I'm just gonna stop there. I tried. I almost forgot a step. 
Y'all, wait a minute. Okay, I don't know how she puts on lipstick with that piercing that she has, but I have these little sparkles. Brow bling, this is a thing that Benefit did a few years ago that I don't think it really caught on. They're just like little stick on rhinestone kind of things. I'm gonna stick one on, on my lip. I don't know if it'll stick on on top of lip gloss though. We'll see. Okay, my lips are like not even an eighth as luscious as hers. So it definitely looks like, how does she even fit that on there? Oh my gosh, maybe this is a little big, but I'm trying to complete the look, all right, okay? Oh my gosh, I am so sorry if you are watching this. <laughs> I feel like I'm like right up to the line of offensive. <laughs> I tried to put my hair up with like a ribbon. Didn't really work. Okay, lost my ribbon. That's the look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I'd love to have you back. You can hit the bell for notifications. And if you wanna find me on social media, I'm everywhere, it's Leanne Says. I'll also include all of the makeup links down below in the description in case you're curious. And yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I definitely did. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye everyone. Be bold, Leanne. You can do it, girl. They just won't lay down for nothing. Why can't you be like the other brows? Can I say hi? Oh, she just licked my teeth. Okay.